I think we should petition to the government a type 1 civilization because we really need to move forward as a society. Not only that, it's going to help us, you know, because we're type 0 civilization. We get all our, all our energy from plants and oil. We need to start taking it to the next level to not only save ourselves uh, and, and approve life for us. We need a petition for a type 1 civilization. And, um, you know, the, the religion is holding the people back because, you know, everybody want, you know, it's, it's a theocracy. We need to get past that and, and, and look to the future to not only uh, learn to, to uh, help ourselves, uh, to uh, help uh, the economy, to help the universe, to help our planet. And, and to even learn more discoveries to improve life, um, get rid of diseases, old age, you name it. So we, I, I suggest everybody who watched this video, petition, everybody in the world, petition for the government for a type 1 civilization. Um, we, don't, we don't need, we need to get past the, the religion we need to focus on the future. We need to focus on building starships. We need to focus on building, uh, going to other planets. We need to focus on time travel. If you really want to learn, if you really want to learn, if you have questions in your mind and answers that you really, everybody has, about us, where we come from, how the universe started prior to the Big Bang, we need to move forward to the future. And, and petition to the government type one civilization. I think with the the NASA uh, warp drive, you know, we could get get that. We got the blueprint. We're gonna go create that, and hopefully go to other planets. And um, this is important for our humans, not only our human species, but for all existence, for everything, to benefit economy, medicine. You name it, everything. Um, it's just to make the whole world better and uh, the universe and uh, and to save people's lives from diseases and um, just um, to make the world, the planet, universe, you name it, a better, more engaging, learning full. That's a word. <laughs> Uh, just, um, you know, go beyond the stars, um, I, I guess the good thing is they're pretty movies out there, like Interstellar, you know, um, I'm not saying that, you know, we're, we're not gonna, it's gonna be like the movie, we're gonna run out of food one day, I mean, it could happen, you know, then we have to go to the, you know, do interstellar travel, um, but or the zombie apocalypse, uh, which is very early. I I still don't believe, you know. There, there's there's that the people are just gonna start being cannibals, start eating people's flesh, like in movies, you know. There, there. I mean, there, there's a limit between science fiction and, and science fact, but that, but then we go to horror fiction, like horror movies, zombies, horror. But science fiction can become science fact, but. Not so much the horror fiction, because horror fact, you know what I mean? There's not like Dracula, you know what I mean? And even the Dracula that existed was in nothing like it was portrayed in movies. I mean, I, he didn't just kind of just go around sucking people's bloods and stuff, you know? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a little different story than that, or a lot different story. But, um... I think maybe the only thing that's holding the government back is if, if they're thick, if they're not, if they're skeptical, is their fear. You know, everybody has fear of change. You know, um, but this, but this change will be beneficial to everybody as long as we take the the, the proper precautions. You know, NASA could do that because they know how to, you know, go up in space and secure everybody, and you know, and, and you know, um, have. have uh, you know, you could just have have hotels and live in space, and because I'm I'm not saying you know, uh, 
we have to get off this planet. I say it's a good thing. I mean, but then again, it's good to prevent even if there is a catastrophe, whether it's zombie apocalypse or running out of food or running out of source resources. I mean, what happened if there's a war and there's a world war and you know everybody becomes poverty stricken? Well, it'll be best to have a plan now to have you know escape to uh, t you know to space. Because um, I suggest we get we get our foot rolling on a type 1 civilization because we don't know the future we can't predict the future we don't know if there's going to be a world war another world war we don't know if people are gonna if there's going to be some kind of crazy disease that just wipe out everybody like they did in plagues and e ebonic and bubonic plague and polio we just don't know so I suggest we just petition to the government type 1 civilization Get, get the ball rolling, you know, get the NASA warp drive and start leaving Earth and explore the cosmos and, and life and aliens and whatnot, existence and new elements and a new world, a new planet, a better planet for all life, for all existence. So peace and prosper. Peace.